Hi, and welcome to my maths class. Today we're going to discuss how would you make different unknowns the subjects of the formula. Let us take for example that you want to make x the subject of the formula. In order to get x alone, you're going to have to times it by i so that the i's can cancel out and what you do on one side you would do on the other side. So we would have PV times my i is equal to x into 1 minus 1 plus i to the power of n. Then we would divide it by 1 minus 1 plus i to the power of minus n. So the entire thing can cancel out. But what you do on one side, you must do on the other side. So x would equal to pv times i all over 1 minus 1 plus i to the power of minus n. Right. If you want to make n the subject of the formula, so we're first going to divide by x and we're going to multiply by i. So we're going to multiply by i on one side and divide by x. We now have 1 minus 1 plus i to the power of minus n is equal to i times pv all over x. Now take your 1 over. So we have i times pv all over x minus 1 is equal to negative 1 plus i to the power of minus n. Now take the negative over. Remember that when you are doing this, you would be having values for i, p, v, and x. When you take your negative over, you'd have negative into is equal to, so remember keep it in brackets, is equal to 1 plus i to the power of negative n. Now remembering your log rules, you are going to bring a log in front of each one, then you're going to bring your minus n in front. So I'm going to have minus n log 1 plus i is equal to log negative i times pv all over x minus 1. Now remember you can't have a log of a negative but because this answer within the bracket is also going to be a negative at the end you'd have a log of a positive answer. Now I want to get rid of the log so I'm going to divide by log 1 plus i and what you do on one side you do on the other side so I'm going to divide by log 1 plus i. Then since we have minus n we're going to take the entire answer and we're going to change the sign. So my final answer would be positive n is equal to negative and log open brackets minus into i times pv over x minus 1 all over log 1 plus i. Remember at all times you would be having values for pv, i and x. So it's not going to be a challenging solution to get. All you have to remember is work step by step. What you want, keep it aside. Thank you for watching.